What I'm really, really excited about when I'm designing a ring is the way lines come together, the movement of things. It's very lyrical, and that's really important to me. There needed to be some connection, some reason, a purpose behind the movement, and it's that purpose that I'm really attracted to. A lot of times customers will come in with ideas that sort of inspires the look that they want to achieve. And so the first thing is to be very simple and just do some sketches. Get a broad idea of the proportions, the, the widths, the thicknesses, the height of the ring. And then gradually the smaller details come into effect. What I bring to the table, I think, artistically has a lot more to do with listening and being able to articulate what I'm hearing and the only way I can do that is listen to, to what they're telling me, the things they want, their desires, and being able to articulate that into an image. Then we deliver the details to Julian, who will input the design into CAD CAM and produce a remarkable 3D render. In doing so, they can tweak things to make sure that it makes sense for them, and in the context of the ring, makes sense structurally. One of the things I love about working with customers on a custom ring is that when it is finished, it is a one-of-a-kind piece that no one else will have. It's the best look you're going to get of the ring before you actually see the ring itself. The next step is we take that CAD program and we use it to print a wax. And then the next step is casting. It's lost wax casting, time-honored tradition. Set the stones. Polish it up, present it to the bride-to-be.